Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be going over my summer athleisure capsule wardrobe. But before we get into that, question of the day. Have you ever had a capsule wardrobe and what are your thoughts? Do you still have it? Are you sticking with it? Did you think that it was not worth it? Did you not have enough options? Let me know in the comments down below and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is kind of a continuation of my capsule wardrobe series that I've had on my channel. Uh, a few months back, I did do a winter? Oh, so I guess it was more than a few months back. I did a winter athleisure capsule wardrobe that was kind of like the beginning of curating a capsule wardrobe for myself. I decided athleisure was my style of choice and I found a guide online, purchased it, and yeah, this is the second. I didn't really do one for spring because I feel like I tend to wear kind of the same thing for winter as I do in the spring. I'm cold natured so I tend to like continue wearing stuff into the spring that I wore in the winter. I recently went on a bit of a shopping spree um, online and in store and I thought I would share that with y'all kind of go over my capsule wardrobe uh, maybe show y'all a couple of outfits we're gonna get that started if you are interested in seeing my other videos I will link that up in the cards above uh, I'll go ahead and make like a little playlist this will only be like the third video on the playlist but you can go ahead and check that out if you want to see kind of my reasoning and how I came to get this wardrobe idea and such but yeah let's go ahead and talk about my summer wardrobe so as I said in my other videos I am using a guide it is called simplified style the athleisure collection year-round capsule wardrobe I did get it from a blog called classy yet trendy I did pay for this so if I leave some stuff out that is why because I don't think it would be fair if I purchased it myself and then basically showed everything to the internet but if you would like to go purchase it yourself I will leave a link to it in the description box down below let's go ahead and talk about some things there are some things that I left out some things that I added on just based on my own personal style and what I know about myself like I know that I'm not gonna wear anything white on as far as bottoms that's just a no that's a no-go for me so there are a couple of like for a summer wardrobe it says white denim shorts and then there are also white leggings and I'm like mm, no let's go ahead and go through some of these things and I'll show you some of the things that I have some of the things that I already had from my uh, winter wardrobe, some of the things that I just bought recently, as well as some of the things that I have ordered online that I've not yet received. Uh, I'll be sure to put a little image of off to the side. So let's do it. First we're going to start with bottoms uh, because that is what is on the top of my stack. Black joggers. Uh, I showed these are a couple pairs that I showed already. Um, these are ones that are kind of made of that like windbreaker material. They have a cuff on the bottom. They have these zippers on the side and a little bit of a drawstring and an elastic waistband. These are some of my favorite pants. Then I do also have another option for joggers, which I will definitely link these in the description box down below because these are my favorite pants. I have them in like six different colors. But these right here have an elastic waistband as well. They have a little drawstring drawstring they also have like a little bit of a cuff at the bottom not as much as the other ones that I just had they do kind of these pants kind of go out a little bit around the thigh are a little bit looser so they're not quite like leggings um, they're a little bit looser on the thigh and then come down more and get a little bit tighter towards the calves but I absolutely love these pants. I wear them, like I said, I have them in like six different colors. I wear them all the time. I also wear these to bed. I have a couple of pairs like that are a little bit older that I like wearing to bed. I just take out, I took out the drawstring. So whether you're wearing them to sleep or wearing them to lounge, perfect. And then I do also have a pair of black solid leggings, which is on the list. Uh, these are from the brand Life Sky. I think I got these on Amazon. These are so flattering. I'm not a huge fan of the waistband because they have that little band right here that goes all the way around it. I like waistbands that are kind of like, are kind of like this. I don't know if you can tell. This is like just like straight. It doesn't have any kind of like band at the waist. Which brings us to my black pattern leggings, which are also on the list. These I got from Old Navy. They're not my favorite. They're a little bit on the tighter side. 
even though I got a size medium. So I'm not as comfortable in them. I don't feel as confident in them, but you know, they're not bad. And then I do also have this, I'm kind of counting as my Heather leggings. These are my favorite leggings. Like these are so comfortable. They are very flattering as well. I like the pockets. I, that's another reason why I'm not a huge fan of these. These don't have any pockets. So I love these. These also, I love the little cuff at the bottom. It's a little bit longer than those other ones. Uh, but super cute. I also love Heather. I like, I love a good Heather gray. That's one of my favorite colors. And then finally, I do also have a pair of gray leggings. These are the ones with the, this is the waistband that I love as well that doesn't have like the little band going around the middle. So those were the leggings part of the bottoms. Let's get to the shorts part. On here, we have black bike shorts, which I don't currently have. Uh, my sister has them right now but I will eventually get them back. And then we have some blue denim shorts, which I'm not a huge fan of denim shorts. I just, okay, so here's the thing about me. I have big thighs and a big butt. Like that is just how it is. I'm very hippie. Me some thighs and a butt. So, uh, deep, 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 da deep, da deep, da deep. I definitely have never had a thigh gap. I feel sometimes with denim shorts that I can just never find any that fall in a flattering way on me. But the thing about this is, and I'm not trying to be annoying, I have a little bit of a smaller waist and so I need bigger sizes for my legs and for my butt because otherwise I can't get past, I can't get past it. I can't get past my thighs when I'm trying to pull them up. But then I have this big gap around my waist. But that's why I tend not to do denim shorts. Um, I just, I end up having to get a really big size in order to have a fit on my legs that I like. With pants, because they go all the way down, I don't have that hard of a time with that. But I don't want to have something tight on my mid thigh because I feel like that's very unflattering for me. I want to have a loose fitting denim short but that's hard to do with the like waist to hip ratio. So I, I'm not a huge fan of denim shorts. I almost never like the way that they fit on me. So I decided that was a long, that was a long way to say that I did not end up getting denim shorts. So I decided to get these. They're just a pair of like navy, like loose, like loose fitting navy lightweight pants. It's almost like a khaki material. Lyocell, 100% Lyocell. I don't really know what that is. Oh, let's read. It's derived from wood pulp fibers. It's a soft, breathable fabric that drapes beautifully to flatter the figure. Innovative fibers provide thermal regulation and moisture absorption while still remaining lightweight. Oh so, yeah, this is a size medium and I got them from TJ Maxx for $16.99. And then also black athletic shorts, which I didn't realize that I didn't have black athletic shorts. Again, it's because I'm not a huge fan of shorts. But I decided to go ahead and get some. So these are from New Balance. I don't know if you can see. New Balance shorts. They're a little bit on the longer side. And I also got them in mediums. And I got them from TJ Maxx for $14.99. So I would say TJ Maxx is a great place to go to get athleisure and athletic wear. I didn't get any gray athletic shorts and I didn't get any white denim shorts. A black skort. Haha, uh -huh. I was telling my sister, cause she has a skort that she's loved for the past couple years. And I was telling her, I was like, I don't know the last time that I've worn a skort. It was probably in like middle school. It is a skirt all the way around and it does have some shorts underneath. I love these shorts because they come all the way down. I feel like a lot of times when it comes to like tighter shorts, like hot pants or uh, bike shorts, that because of my thighs, they sometimes ride up. Uh, but these do not, like they fall in the perfect place to not ride up my legs. And those are also in a size medium. Got them from TJ Maxx for $16.99. All right, so those are all of the bottoms. Let's move on to tops. So really, I only have three tops here with me right now. Um, the other four, yeah, the other four are on their way. I either got them from Amazon or from Etsy. So the first one is a white short sleeve graphic tee. So I did get this one off of Etsy. Y'all know when I read graphic, I was like, ooh, 
Disney or BTS? <laughs> Who do I want to be on my t-shirt? Disney for this one, but I still wanted to get one that was a little more like classic and would go with everything. So we went with the Minnie Mouse. Did it go with Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse? I kind of forgot. I guess I will show it here. But that I got from Etsy. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. For the black graphic t-shirt, we already went with Disney, so that leaves BTS. I have been looking at this shirt for a while and for some reason have just not bought it. Uh, but this is the Microcosmos Shine Dream Smile. That is also from Etsy from a different shop, which I will also leave down below. I did get a striped short sleeve shirt, which another place to go for essentials is Target. For some reason, I always thought the Target was like a little pricey to get like several things from. Their essentials are actually pretty affordable if you want to get like multiple things at a time. Um, so I did get this striped shirt, white and black. But this was only 10 bucks at Target and I got a size medium. I've been liking to wear my, my tops a little bit bigger recently. And then also I got a couple of just regular t-shirts. This one is just a black t-shirt, a little bit of a v-neck. It is definitely a bit of a looser shirt, which I enjoy. That one I got in a medium, I think it was $9. And then I got also got it in white. So. And then also on the list is a black tank and a white tank. Here's the black tank and here's the white tank. I did get them off of Amazon. They will be here tomorrow. Those were the tops. Now let's move on to shoes and then I think we'll be done. Okay, so y'all shoes are my favorite. Love shoes. Recently though, I had noticed like in the past like 10 years, I used to have more shoes than I had clothes. But I had noticed that recently that had kind of changed. I was wearing like the same shoes over and over again. I had actually gotten back to my, my former self and have a lot of shoes now. And I am have plans to get more like expensive shoes. I'm kind of saving up for Vessi shoes. I really, 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 really want a pair, two pairs actually. Um, I have my eyes set on the, the weekend sneakers as well as I think it's called like the cityscape sneakers or something like that. I would love a good pair of waterproof sneakers, especially after my last Disney trip that I went on. That was kind of, I'm not going to say ruined. It would take a lot to ruin a Disney trip for me, but on like the first night there, it poured and I ended up getting blisters on the bottoms of my feet because I did not have any kind of waterproof or water resistant shoes. So, <laughs> um, I was wearing, Ooh, actually I was wearing these. I was wearing these right here because I love me some canvas sneakers, but this is what I was wearing. And obviously went right through. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about some shoes, show you the shoes that I have and da 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 da. The first on the list are a pair of black athletic sneakers. I do have those. These are Under Armour. I need to like just do a nice like clean and wash to a lot of my shoes. Um, but these I have had for several years um, and they still are holding up really well. These are Under Armour, as I said before. I love this little strap on the top. I love black and pink. That's like one of my favorite color combos. But yeah, I really like Under Armour shoes. I have another pair in here that are Under Armour as well. Those are like my newest pair that I have and really like the brand. So next on the list is a pair of white athletic sneakers, which is my other Under Armour shoes. I at first was like white sneakers. It's the same as it is for white pants. It's like, mm, no, but I've been doing so well with these sneakers. I've had them now for about a month maybe a little bit longer and have not washed them. I've not washed them at all yet. And look, they still look so beautiful. They have a little bit of dirt on the bottom, but like this is what I was afraid of because this is like straight fabric. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna mess those up real quick. I have like three alarms. That was my 9.30 alarm. <laughs> these I absolutely love. These are so pretty. I like walked into a DSW and these were the first things that I saw and, and I bought them. <laughs> I love the, I just love pink and I love pink as an accent. These were giving me like hardcore like 90s vibes, 80s, 90s vibes with the little like confetti or paint splatter. 
love them I, I wear anywhere from a six and a half to a seven depending on the shoe these are sevens and i think the black ones these are six and a halfs these are sevens and then next up are a pair of gray athletic sneakers the ones i have are not like straight up gray they're like a blue gray these are them right here these are nautica um i'm not 100 percent sure where because i didn't actually buy these my parents were like do you need anything i was like yeah i could use a pair of sneakers and they brought these home <laughs> i know i'm spoiled i i 100 percent know that i am i'm pretty sure i paid them back for it though yeah got these these are nautica i have kind of worn these out a little bit these don't look as nice it's funny these look dirtier than the ones that i have had for like three or four years more than this um because i got these i think this year in 2022 so really like those i like the color i like the fit these are a size seven and then we have white casual sneakers so i do have some of those i also have a pair of gray casual sneakers these are some of my favorite shoes these are so comfortable they're from the brand blowfish and blowfish and rocket dog have kind of wider shoes because I, I i have kind of wider feet <laughs> here I'll, let me show you a legit picture you can also see my new pedicure um but yeah also that is a that is a birthmark right here i don't have dirty feet that's a birthmark i do tend to have wider feet and so sometimes it's a little difficult to get shoes because i have i have like small wide feet blowfish is a good brand to get a little bit wider so is rocket dog so these are blowfish i've had these in white i've had these in gray i actually threw away my gray pair when i was at disney because <laughs> the next day after that day that i got completely rained on in those other shoes i wore my gray pair of these and it rained again and so we went my sister and i went all around disney springs trying to find me some shoes to wear for the rest of the trip and shoes that would be somewhat water resistant we finally found some which brings me to my black slide-in sneakers which they're not actually slide-ins but these are the ones that we ended up buying because these are really the only ones that they had that were somewhat water resistant these are sperry's which i've never had a pair of sperry's before that's just not my style but i did actually like these more of a like sneaker look than like the boat shoes and then as I showed before, these are Roxy. Oh, Roxy is another brand that tends to have uh, wider shoes as well. Love these shoes so much. Like I really need to get a new pair because these are worn. I wear these out. Like I think I wore them all last year. <laughs> Summer, winter, spring, fall. I wore them all last year, 2021. These ones right here are a six and a half. And then I think these are also a six and a half. I don't know. I don't see a a size on them and then as far as black slide sandals i don't like slides they're that's just not my not my cup of tea but i do have a pair a couple pairs of black sandals i'm not a fan of flip-flops i <laughs> let me let me let me stop being so negative i don't have i don't like how floppy they are and i don't really like sandals that don't have backs to them i like my shoes to feel like they are holding my foot you know what i mean um, rather than my foot feeling like it has to hold on to my shoes if that makes any sense so these shoes right here i have had for i'm gonna say close to 10 years these are some of my favorite shoes and my favorite sandals ever these are some of the sanuk sandals that are you know made from yoga mats um, this part is fabric that's the only thing so even though i do i do tend to wear these at the pool uh, to the beach um, these do get wet these are super cute Sorry, don't mind my pillows on the floor. These, they are so cute. Very flattering. Absolutely love these shoes. I've had them, like I said, for years. Um, they are a great alternative to flip-flops. Then I did just recently on Amazon, I bought these sandals right here. I'm a little concerned because they don't have anything in between the toes. 
which it's been forever since I've worn a pair of shoes that doesn't have something in between the toes. I'm really looking forward to those. Those hopefully will be here tomorrow. Those are my shoes. And then as far as outerwear, this gray cardigan is on the list. I think it also has like an ivory cardigan, a blue denim jacket. I don't have a denim jacket, but I do like to wear uh, one of the like chambray button down tops. I wear that unbuttoned over top things so often. I've worn that on my channels <laughs> so much. Um, my chambray shirt that I had that I've worn on this channel a lot um, now has a hole right here. So I did end up getting a new one from Amazon. There we go. I think that is it. So I think that is it. Hopefully this isn't too long of a video. But yeah, that is my capsule wardrobe. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about starting to wear it. As of right now, I have not worn anything in this summer wardrobe, so I'm excited to start wearing these pieces. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, think about subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.